Well, hi there, pluckers. I'm a sore finger again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another lesson. Uh, this one is part two of uh, the series of lessons on dog and butterfly from art. Part one was uh, teaching you how to play the intro and the first verse, or all the verses. Um, part two, which is this lesson, is involved with the chorus. Okay, So part one ended up with the end of the verse. So you played this D chord. Okay from previously, it sort of See the dog and butterfly In the air he liked to fly Dog and butterfly Before she had to try She rolled back down to the walls of Let's break that down for you, right? So after you've come out of that D shape, after verses, after the verse, okay, she goes C the, and then we go to the A sus two again, dog and butterfly. She likes to fly. Now this is um, like a, it's like a. I think this is probably A major ninth. I think. Okay, it's very simple. You're playing the A sus two, or if I'm playing it like that, if you're playing it like that, the chord we have to go to basically is second on the fourth string, the D string, and first fret on the third string, the G string. Okay. So if you're playing that shape, it's very simple. You just drop the third string down to the first fret. Okay. Obviously, if you're playing that shape, you need to finger that. Okay. So that's the second chord. So it goes to uh, see the dog and butterfly up in the air he likes to fly. Now this is which starts to get tricky. Dog and butterfly. Right. So this bit, dog and butterfly, is basically it's like a, uh, a G chord. My third finger is playing the third fret on the bottom E string. And my third finger and pinky are playing the third fret of the first and second string, the top E and the B string. Okay, and my third finger is lent into the guitar neck slightly, so it's resting on the fifth string, the A string, and muting it. I don't want to hear that string when I'm strumming. Okay, so you strum all the way down from six down to one. Okay, and that fifth string needs to be muted. Okay. So that's that's so that's that dog. So we come out of that, um, and then we go take the pinky off and put this first finger, which you've got free, on the second fret of the top E string. Hit that note, and then the open top E string. Okay, so it's okay. Then hit uh, that, so it's, and then what I do is I go first string, second string, because you're still holding that third fret. So that'd be top string open, third fret on the second string, which is still being held by your third finger. Open third, open fourth, probably. And so it's you know, up to the third. Okay, so one, two, one strings one, two, and three. So second fret, first string, open first string, and then open first string again, second string, third string. Okay, whilst holding that shape. So and then the D shape, a D chord with an open. Top string. That E string is open, okay, not fretted. Okay, so you've just got the two fingers of the D, okay? And you pick around that. Something like that. Okay, so you go. Back to 
to the A sus2. Or you, if you play it, that shape, if you want to do it. I prefer this, I'm playing it like that. Okay. So from the beginning of the gums, uh, from the end of that um, slidey bit of the D, where it sort of goes, uh, I guess it, um, okay, it goes like. See the dog and butterfly. Up in the air, he likes to fly. Dog and butterfly. Though she had to try. Okay, got that? Just go through that again very slowly. So from that D shape. See the dog and butterfly. Yeah, she likes to fly. She had to try. Right, now to an F sharp minor. She rolled back down to the C sharp minor. Fourth fret bar chord, minor shape. And that's a squall soft ground. Okay, so that's. And, sorry. She rolled back down to the ground. And F back to the F sharp minor, laughing. She don't know B. Why? Suspended. Off. She don't know why. Dog and butter. So let's just go through that last part of that uh, chorus again. So have you done this fancy G bit? Try A sharp minor. She rolled back down to C sharp minor. Warm soft ground. F sharp minor. Nothing. She don't know B. Why? Suspended. Little pinky goes up to the fifth fret on the B string and off. She don't know why. Dog and butter. Right, and this last chord is very straightforward. It's a bit of a stretch, but it's the easiest way is to bar the first three strings on the second fret, like a D major seventh sort of shape, and then add pinky, barring the first two strings, the first. E string, top E string and the B string on the fifth fret, and you you strum you strum down from about five down to one. Okay. So when you come out of that uh, bit that goes, uh, she rolled, uh, sorry, she rolls down to the warm soft ground, laughing. She don't know why. B suspended off. She don't know why. Pick around a bit, strum it and pick around a bit. And then strum. Dog and butterfly. And then a couple of those or three, how many you want to do, and then start singing the second verse. Okay, well I stumbled upon your secret place, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's go through that again very slowly uh, from the beginning of the, uh, uh, just to the end of the first verse. Okay, where it goes to that D. See the little dog and butterfly Up in the air she likes to fly A dog and butterfly Try, try, to try, try You roll back down to the soft And butter for fun. Okay, so just do that again slightly faster. Okay, so after that, uh, end of first one. Uh, see the
Well, that's it. That's the chorus. So now you've got a verse and a chorus. So the third lesson, final part of the jigsaw, is the bridge section, which we'll come to uh, next lesson. Thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.